we weren't quite sure of what his riding capabilities were because we were told that he had some injuries to his hindquarters. He's not holding the butt perky and proud. He's got drooping butt syndrome. Can I work with you today? Hmm? Big breath in. I don't know if he's gonna take a big breath in, but I like to say it. Blow it out. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> got it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I've got him really droopy. <laughs> okay. okay. He's almost gonna fall asleep on me. I just made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. Prince came to us uh, in a pretty unique way. Um, we had an adoption story with Olive, which I referenced before when you saw Olive. Um, and we had to take Olive back. And when we went to go remove Olive from where she was, we found Prince. Prince was her companion horse that the previous adopter had purchased to keep Olive company. So Prince and Olive were not taken care of. They were left in a stall uh, for you know, a week at a time. Uh, he became aggressive, unruly, couldn't handle him. And um, we knew that he couldn't stay in the place where he was. So luckily we were able to remove him and bring him back here. And did you bring Olive back at and the same yes, time? we brought yep. Olive and Prince back, uh, and uh, he has completely transformed into a different horse. I mean, he's so gentle, he's so mild. Um, we weren't quite sure of what his riding capabilities were because we were told that he had some injuries to his hindquarters and possible okay. spine issues um, because he would, he would buck. Okay. Um, so now that he's back here- And is he bucking still? So when we first started doing some groundwork with him and bringing him into the round pen, he did. The first time he had a saddle on, he was bucking. Uh, so we broke it back down to, to basics with him and no longer worked him with a saddle and just started building muscles up from you know the ground up. So he has not bucked since, but I can definitely see hindquarter tightness and it feels like he's dropped down in, in his hindquarters. Sometimes we see unilateral one side, but he's got both sides that are like drooping. Right. He's got drooping butt syndrome. <laughs> that's not a that's not a term. A I just made that one up. I think I got that too. Um, we want to give you like you know what's it, like a J Lo butt. <laughs> no, that'd be too much. <laughs> that'd be too much. But that's something people will try to get, right? Or a you know a Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> Is that what they call? No. Okay. All right. No more joking around. Okay. Can I work with you today? All right. What do you think? Can I work with you today? Hmm? Can I work with you? 
I'd like to work with you. Let me see what your atlas is doing. So he's, he's tied on the, the left atlas. So what I'm doing right here is I'm putting my fingertips between the angle of the jaw of the mandible and the wing of the atlas. Now, I have just a little head compared to his, but on the right side, I can get two fingers in, and on the left side, I can only get one finger in. And that means the atlas has moved towards the skull. And um, so it's a little tight on this side. And there's a muscle knot there. So first, let's massage that knot out a little bit. So we're going to massage the pole, but I think I'm going to have to adjust your superior atlas on the left. Okay. Now he's blinking his eyes a little bit and I'm touching the pole and I'm wiggling it a little bit. Now I got to remember, I'm, my, my pulse rate is up, so I have to bring it down a little bit. Let my body go slack a little bit, soften up here and let him feel me a little softer, a little more open. There you go. Okay, and bring that down. I'm still on the pole, and he's stretching with me. He's kind of working with me. Yeah, yeah. You want to loosen your jaw because you're a little tight in here. Do you feel how you're tight? We oh, start to poke your eye. You're tight here in your mandible. And here's your hyoid bone. And here's here. Let's get your, let's just get your lip to move a little bit, look at your tongue. There you go. Good. Just do a little bit for me. That's okay. I want him to move a little bit. There you go. Because as he does that, I'm wiggling this pole at the same time. There you go. And then I'll let him, I know that was a little intense, but I just want him to start getting his mouth moving a little bit. All right. Good. There you go. Just good. And that'll 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 just stretch out your muscles a little bit. Good. And now let's see what he does with that. Just moving his lips a little bit. Good. Okay. And I got the top line starting to relax, and his head's coming down. And now I'm gonna adjust that atlas. So I wanted to get his head down so I can adjust the atlas. Now he's almost too low. Prince, come on over here, babe. So wait for his head to come up. Come on up. A little bit more. It's okay. So I've got him really droopy. Okay. Come on up, babe. He's almost going to fall asleep on me. Okay. Can I get your atlas? His veins are popping out. Yeah. He's almost too sleepy. Here it is. Bring that head up. I can't do that. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to the atlas, Mr. Droopy. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. If I see it, I'm gonna take it. There we go. And here I'm looking for the edge of the atlas. It's right here. Come bring your head up. A little more. A little more. All right. A little more. Yeah, a little more. Got it. Ooh, I heard a little you heard that click, heard click yeah. Click. Let's see if he wants to do anything with his lips. Back up just a tiny bit. Good. All right, did you like that one? Good, now let's see the gap here. All right, so the gap is normal now. Two fingers on each side. I got the gap open for you. Let's feel the atlas again. I might do a little bit more work up at the pole. So I'm going to put my hand on the outside so I don't, and just so the lead doesn't catch my hand. I'm just going to shake you. All right. I know. So this is a little bit of a wiggle. It's a wiggle that I like to do. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. And I'm wiggling that pole. Nice. Mmm, nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Get to the other side so my 
leads on the other side of his face. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm almost done. One more. Let's do one more. All right. Let's see what he does now. Okay, just wiggling you out a little bit. All right, that feels good. So you got a little bit in the lower neck, all the way down here at C7, T1. I have to go under the scapula to get this one. So here's the scapula, the edge of the scapula, and I have to come under here and bury my fingers in there. So as I laterally flex, you'll see my fingers disappear. I'm going under there under there, come this way, looking away. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah, and that'll help his left shoulder. Who's a sweet boy? <sighs> so I'm gonna come up here. Just waiting for him to lean in on me. No, a little more. Right here. Wow. You could hear that one, right? Can I see that feel better? You feel better? You feel, you feel like, yeah. what? <laughs> Where's my carrot? See, all like. And this would be just like kind of atrophy all Yeah. Here, so what I did is I lifted this. Put your hand right here. And so I, I lifted that up. Okay. And so, right, so this is atrophied and his, his hip is definitely under. Um, so let me see if I can get him to bring that up. Do you see? Bring up his belly and this part of the spine. So watch here and here with the camera. Do you do, who, do you guys do the butt tuck stuff? You could do with a, like a little, like, yeah, something. But he needs, that would exercise him a little. He should- the bell? Just work him with the bell? Well, just to, to, yeah, just to start to get pelvic movement. So, you know, you do that and the, 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 the belly lifts and the spine straightens and it exercises him. And he could do, you know, not a lot because it gets tiring. Right. But look, he's doing it right now. And then he relaxes, <sighs> all the way over. And come back over here. And um, so I'm here. Oh, yeah. Do you see that go? Uh -huh. You want to try it? Yeah. Watch yourself because you don't want to be kicked either, right? Yeah, you did it perfect. But it's, it's going to start to, to activate this whole area okay. and engage. You well, you can build into it, but it's something you could do even five times the first day and then uh, build up to 10 and, you know, start doing it every day a little bit. And it'll strengthen him a little bit and start engaging the glutes more. Um, but there's more to do. I'm not done yet. Do you do butt tucks sometimes or? Yes. Yeah. So he would really benefit from a few of these every day. Okay. And you could build. <laughs> now that's going to get, but you know, it works the spine. It works the pelvis. We want to get these like glutes. Yeah. And we want to get these glutes livelier. And, um, you could also do uh, not a, not just a hold, okay? So I'm holding and waiting for him to pull against me. Here, let's do it with me. Hold, hold with me, okay? And we're just gonna hold. Callan, we're on a little tail pull, okay? But I'm not yanking the tail. So you do it yourself. I'm gonna be right with you. And he's not doing anything with it. So let's pull <laughs> a little more. And he'll there. He pulled there against go. us. So then you release. Yeah. So we're not trying to crack anything. Okay. Let's do another one. So we're going to just lean back with your own body weight. We're just trying to wake up that back end. Okay. So, okay. Um, but then we got to first give him a reason to wake up the back end. Yeah. Um, come a little stronger. So make your fingers like this 
and yeah. Oh, yeah. there it goes. Do you feel them lift? Yeah. You did it perfect. And we're going to try to get the power turn back on going down both legs because he has bilateral uh, weakness in the lower, lower uh, hind quarters, right? All right, I'm going up there. What do you think of that? Can I go up there? All right, I'm going to go up there and look at your lower back. All right, here we are. So I want both legs to wake up. So I'm going to go here on the sacral base, L6, and I'm going to look at his face and see if he tells me which one to do. Here's L4. L5 starts blinking. 6 is blinking a lot. It's this whole area, 4, 5, 6. How about sacral base? Blink there. I mean, it's just pick one because this whole area is, is tucked under and compressed. He's got a little spinal compression here, a little, but here we go. Just want to pick the keystone. Oh, I think it's right here. So it's at L6 sacrum junction. Big breath in. I don't know if he's going to take a big breath in, but I like to say it. Big breath in. I might do it with a little tuck. Let him tuck a little bit. And after he tucks, I'll just go. Good, and let it go. <clears throat> what I did is I had him first tuck, and as he relaxed, I popped. Now let me drop down and do sacral base posterior. Big breath in, blow it out. <clears throat> Ooh, that one made a big clunk. Whoa. All right, that was it. I thought it was L6, which it was a little bit, but the, the major subluxation was at sacral base. Daniel, could you hear that one pop or? I, I could. Yeah, you could hear it. Yeah. All right. So let's walk them a little bit. I think you're going to start building those glutes back now. That would be great. Well, just because I, 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 opened, I opened up the nerve supply down the legs. It was really crimped and pinched off and practice a couple little butt tucks if he likes them and let's start exercising him and um let's want this to come back you know what i mean okay and this whole area is very uh but it, I, I feel like he wants to to come back now all right so we're going to build this back up on you he says I do. we're going to give you a, a great like butt yeah, he's relaxed, right? He's anxious. Yeah, I had a feeling that this would really do well for him based on his movement and what they said about him. And do you like this if I scratch your belly? I think we're done. Thank you, everybody. Good job. You're a good patient, Fritz. Okay, thank you. All right, so leave him a comment. Thank you for your help. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. All right. What do you think? Do you think he had a I good session? Absolutely. All right, good. I see such a difference in his demeanor just handling him. Just Good. So we're going to bring your gluteus maximus back. We want to get your glutes back. Got it. <clears throat> oh.
Carolyn, we're on a little tail pull, okay? But I'm not yanking the tail, and he's not doing anything with it, so let's pull a little more. And he'll, there, he pulled there against go. us. So then you release? Yeah. 